to the woke sports people and their weapon great hypocrisy. We've already discussed the netballers and footballers. Let's now take a look at the Australian cricket captain, Pat Cummins, a climate catastrophist clown whose incoherent far-left activism may have cost Cricket Australia a $40 million sponsorship with Alinta Energy. We don't know. Meanwhile, he's happy to promote a Chinese company with an appalling track record. Yes, the Cricket for Climate activist has promoted a Chinese company which has been placed under restrictions by the Biden administration for using slave labour from Uyghur internment camps. So fossil fuels bad, forced labour good. Only fossil fuels aren't that bad, are they, Pat, given they underpin just about everything you do, whether it's flying around the world at the pointy end of the plane or playing under lights in stadiums built with steel. Even what he wears is fuelled by fossil fuels, from his top to these steel studs in his boots, all thanks to mining, Pat. And we've got to say, Patrick Cummins' carbon footprint is gargantuan compared to the average Australian he preaches to. He's forever jetting around the world to play cricket. Plus, he's been pictured driving one of the highest admitting luxury cars on the market. Oh, dear me. As always with these insufferable leftist crusaders, it's a case of do as I say, not as I do.